Hello everyone, today I bought you the all new 2023 Toyota Crown. So this one here that I'm doing the review on is a uh, limited trim level. Now for the exterior color, this one comes in the oxygen white exterior color. Uh, so with this particular one, you get all the bells, most of your bells and whistles. It is not the platinum, so you get the XLE limited and platinum. So this one here is, uh, is, is the limited trim level. Uh, so with this particular one, it has the all uh, the 2020, uh, 21 uh, dark metallic uh, alloy wheels. Uh, so you also get all four disc brakes on this one as well, which also comes with uh, keyless entry and also blind spot monitoring, auto folding side mirrors. Uh, and also you get the 360 bird eye view system in it as well. Uh, you get front and rear sensors and also you get the backup camera in this one as well. Now this does come with the double sun, uh, moon roof, uh, but they do not open. Uh, so the double moon roof does not open. Uh, and also, it, with uh, as far as your dimension on this particular one here, so if, look, for your height, you're looking at 60.6 uh, inch. For your length of the vehicle, you're looking at 196.1. For your width of the vehicle, you're looking at 72.4. For your wheelbase of the vehicle, you're looking at 112.2. For your ground clearance on this one, you'll get uh, 5.8. Uh, for your fuel tank, you're looking at 14.5 to fill up the fuel. And also for your curb weight of the vehicle, you're looking at 3,980. Uh, for your cargo space, which is 15.2, but I'll go over that in a little bit as well. Uh, as far as your horsepower on this one, you're looking at 184. Uh, your pound feet of torque, you're looking at 163. Uh, so this one comes in the 2.5 four-cylinder engine. Now, this does not come in the 2.5 four-cylinder uh, four turbo engine. So that you will get it, get that on the platinum trim level. Uh, so and also for your net power on this one here, you're looking at uh, 236 for your net power. Um, looking uh, with everything included that include combines the battery the, uh, the hybrid battery um, All right, so let's take a look at underneath the hood see what it has to offer as far as uh, how the engine is all set up for the all-new 2023 Toyota Crown So coming here underneath the hood of the all-new 2023 Toyota Crown uh, so and also this once again, this is the oxygen white exterior color uh, So as you can see on the bottom, you do get the front tensors on the bottom down there as well and also you get the led determining lights and also your led headlights uh so looking underneath the hood of the all new 2023 toyota crown so on this side here on the, on the right side of the engine you get your braking fluid which most manufacturers put put it on that side uh and also you get the battery engine so like i said this is a 2.5 four cylinder engine it is not the turbo charge that's for the turbo one you do get you'll have to step up to the platinum trim level and also you get your handy freeze on this side uh so for your horsepower on this one you're looking at 186 uh for your pound feet of torque you're looking at 163 um, well, 184 for your horsepower and also for your pound feet of torque, you're looking at 163. For your net power, you're looking at 236. That com combines the battery and everything. Now, Toyota does use a uh, lithium battery on this one. So most of the uh, hybrid system, they use ba a lithium battery on, on in them. Uh, so as you can see over here, you get this piece of fabric up here, which helps uh, uh, helps with uh, the heat of the engine. And also if the engine were to get, get set on fire, also helps to control the fire as well. Uh, so that's what that piece of fabric down uh, up here is used for. Uh, so down here, you do not get a fog lights in front of the vehicle. It does not come with a fog light. You will just get the headlights and also your LED day timing lights on this one. All right. And also that grill. So this thing, it doesn't open. So it's just a steel grill. The air doesn't flow to, to that front grill. Uh, the air actually flows up here, right up, right up there. All right. Uh, so let's take a, look, take a look inside the vehicle, see what it has to offer as far as bells and whistles and features as well. So for the all new 23 Toyota Crown, uh, so this one here comes with the keyless entry system. So to simply unlock, uh, unlock the vehicle, you grab the door handle, it'll unlock for you. To lock it, you get these two stripes right over here. You just tap them, it will lock the vehicle for you. So let's step inside the vehicle. So for this one being the limited trim level, you do get the seat memory in it as well. It also comes with the blind spot monitoring in it as well on the side mirrors, on both side mirrors. Uh, so up here, you get your control for the side mirrors to adjust the side mirror. And also it has the auto folding side mirrors as well. So if you just tap this button, it will fold the mirrors for you. But since the car is not running, it's not doing it. Um, it also, so you get the window locks. So that's to lock the passenger and also the back windows. Uh, if you don't want your passengers to put the windows down, you just simply push this button here that will lock it up for you. And also you get lock and unlock to lock the doors. To lock and unlock the doors, your button's right over here. And also you get auto automatic power up and down windows for all four windows so all of them are automatic up and down and also you get the seat memories right over right up here on the side on the door as well so inside the vehicle this one here comes in with the, the mixture of the black with the brown interior so as you can see so down here you get the eight way adjustable seats so you can move the seats back and forth up and down and also you get your leg support right over here as well so if you do this 
you get the leg support and also to move the seats back the back seat to adjust the back back of the seats and also you come you get your lumbar support in this one as well so over here on the left side of the steering wheel you get your hood opener to open the hood and also you get trunk opener as well to simply open the trunk your fuel to open the fuel cap so that we can get access to the fuel and up here you, you get the light control for the cabin so it's so just a light cabin and also you get your odometer to get to to see what how, how many miles on the vehicle you can simply use this button right over here and also you get uh, automatic high beams button right over here and also you get you have your uh, auto wipe uh, sensor wipers button right up here as well so once it starts raining what this does is that if you have this on it will just turn on, turn on the wipers for you all right so stepping inside the vehicle uh, and also up here, you do get the tilt and telescopic steering wheel in it as well, so which move uh, four different ways, so in and out, up and down. Uh, so stepping inside the vehicle on the left side of the steering wheel, you get your adjustment for the back screen. So this screen right here is, is the size of the screen is 12.3 inch. So that's the side of the screen. So it's the same size as this screen right here. Uh, so on the left side of the steering wheel, you get your control for the back screen and also for your phone as well and your volume. So up here, you have your back button. So if you're on one screen, you want to go back to the previous one. You just simply use this button here and also for your incoming calls you just push this button here and also to adjust uh to get access to the back screen so if you need to like get access to anything like your settings or anything you use this button here to select you just press the ok button uh for your volume which is located on the bottom and also you have your voice coming right underneath that uh so behind the steering wheel you have your light control so which also come with automatic as well so which does the work for you so you don't have to do it all the time so on the right side of the steering wheel, you have your cruise control also, you have your lane keepers uh, while well, your distance setting. So, if you want to set distance behind cars in front of you, uh, you can use this button here so the car doesn't you don't get close to vehicles in front of you. Uh, down here, you have your seek button so to change the radio and also to go through like any session you have set as your favorite, and also to go to, like change music between your phone as well once you plug your phone to a USB port or Bluetooth as well. And also up here, you have your lane keep assist. So, you use this button here will just if you have this one, it will keep you within lane. So that way you're not going off lane uh, unnoticed or without signaling or anything like that, okay? And also down here, you have your mode, so which goes between AM, FM, XM, and also Bluetooth and USB. So if you have your phone connected to the USB. So behind the steering wheel, on the right side of the steering wheel, you have your wipers control. So that right here, so just to turn the wipers in and uh, on and off. So that's your wiper control right up here. Uh, so coming to the center of the vehicle, the center, uh, in the center. So in the center, you get the, so this is also a 12.3. So like I mentioned, this is also 12.3 as well, same size. Uh, so up here, so Toyota have gotten rid of all the buttons and stuff like that. So this is all fully touchscreen. This also comes with the uh, 11 speakers, the JBL sound speakers. Uh, so you get 11 speakers in this one as well. So you have your knob right over here to turn uh, turn the volume up and down. And also to turn it off, you just simply push it. It'll turn the, uh, turn the radio off for you. So down here, you do get a push button start. Down here, you have your heated and ventilated seats. Um, so which is up here. And also you have your front defrost rear defrost and also your side mirror defrost as well and also you have your automatic climate control and also to turn, turn it on and off uh so for the pass uh, for the driver climate control temperature control you have this button right over here and also your fan speed and also different way you want the airflow which is this button, what these buttons are used for and you also have the sink so which is give the climate uh the passenger and also the driver the same climate control you use you push this button here and also if you want the direct airflow into the vehicle so you use this uh Air recycle, so if you want to reuse the same air inside the car instead of getting air from the outside, uh, let's say if you're in a, in, in a neighborhood and the air, it smells really bad, you don't want the air to be coming from the outside, you just use this button here, that will reuse the same air inside the vehicle for you. And also you have your AC, uh, so that's your AC right over here. And you have your heated heated and ventilated seats for the passenger as well. Now, the passenger do get, uh, so for the passenger, they do get uh, eight-way adjustable po uh, powered seats, so it's not manual uh, for the passenger. So coming back to the center, so you do get a wireless phone charging system in as well. As long as your phone is compatible, you just simply place your phone in here. It will wirelessly charge your phone for you. And you get this button here. That's for the 360 bird eye view system. So you get four different cameras in this one. You get one in the front, two on the side mirror. I mean, one on the, each side mirror and also the backup camera. So that gives you the bird eye view, so a 360 view of the vehicle. And also over here, you have your USB ports. So you have to get two C-type USB ports, which helps to charge your phone a lot faster. And also you get two cup holders so this is also removable so you can take this out so you have a uh, so you, just in case if you have a bigger cup you can just fit it right in here long way uh so behind the stick shift so this is your stick shift this is what you get so it's pretty much the same thing as the prius what's in the prius so you have your parking uh reverse neutral uh drive and also you have your b 
So that's just to like keep the vehicle at a certain speed when you have it on B. Uh, and also you have your different driving mode, which has uh, normal, sport, and eco. Uh, and also you have your hold button right over here. So this button, if you have, if you're driving and you have your seatbelt buckle, you just simply push this button here. That'll hold the brake for you. So keep the car within in one place. So once you want to get ready to go, you just put your foot back on the brake and push it again. It'll turn it off for you. And also you have your traction control, your emergency parking brake right over here, and also you have an EV mode button right right, right next to it. Uh, so underneath the armrest, so you get the nice brown armrest and also it is soft touch. All right. So to simply open the armrest, you just push this button here on the side. Uh, you also get an A type USB port in here and also a V12 in here. Uh, this little tray right here, move back and forth. You can take it out if you want to. So you don't necessarily have to keep it in here, but you get plenty of space in the underneath the armrest. So if you need to put your items in here. So as far as the dash, now you do it. This is soft touch up here for the passenger. Um, everything else is hard plastic by the way even back there is hard plastic as well uh so inside your glove box compartment you do get all your manuals uh anything uh if you want to know your car a lot better you can read through your manuals so they'll pretty much go uh teach you everything that you need to know about the vehicle in and out okay um all right so let's power this vehicle up and see how it looks like when it's all powered All right, so that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, also up here, you get the auto dimming uh, rear view mirror and also which should give you the home garage control up here as well. Uh, and also over here, you have uh, you have your light control, so turning the lights on and off. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is for the shade opener. The moonroof does not open. You get the big panoramic sunroof while the double sunroof in here as well. So I'll open it just to show you guys. So it's all glass, it does not open, uh, so it just stays that way, okay? Uh, and also you get so your lights, and also you get the Toyota emergency button up here, so if you need help at any time, you just push this SOS button that will connect you to the Toyota emergency uh, department, so that way they will send help to you at, uh, right away, okay? And also these are LED interior lights as well, just keep in mind you get the LED interior lights right in here. Right, let's go ahead and close this up. All right, so let's take a look at the back seat, see what it has to offer as far as leg room. And all right, so coming back here on the back of the all new 2020 Toyota, Toyota Crown. Uh, so as you can see back here, like I mentioned earlier, you, this does come with a mixture of the black and brown interior. Uh, and also you get the rear heated seats for the back passenger. So you just push this button here, that'll turn on the heated seats for the back passenger as well. So step it inside the vehicle. Uh, so back here, you do get the pocket storage place for the back on the back of the seats of the uh, driver's side. And also you get on the passenger side as well. Uh, you get your air ventilation back here as well. And also you get two C-type USB ports to try to, uh, for the back passengers to charge their phone. Uh, and also you get the center armrest with the nice soft touch center armrest with the two cup holders back here. Uh, the back seats do fold 60 to 40 split. So they do go all the way down. Uh, you also get LED interior lights back here as well, which also comes in the back seat. So as far as your leg room and also space, uh, this does offer a lot of leg room. So this is where I was sitting, the sitting position that I, uh, that I have the seat in. Uh, and also the headroom, you do get a, a decent amount of headroom. I'm 5'11", so you do get a decent amount of headroom in there. So if, if somebody that's over six feet, uh, you might find some difficulties as far as sitting back here. Uh, but this is what it looks like back here of the all-new 22 Toyota Crown. All right, so let's take a look at the cargo area, see what it has to offer as far as cargo room back there. So before we go to the cargo area, this is what their fuel uh, area will look like. So as far as putting uh, fuel in, in the vehicle, so that's what it looks like. You get the fuel cap in there, in there as well. Uh, so keep in mind, there's a button on the inside which you have to hit that button before this to open this. All right, so coming back here to the back of, on the back of the all-new 2023 Toyota Crown. So you also get LED rear lights as well on this one. Also get your, uh, sen uh, your rear sensors on the bottom of that. Uh, this is this is also all-wheel drive, by the way. I forgot to mention that earlier, but it is all-wheel drive. Um, all right, so to simply open the trunk area, so there's a button back there. So you tap it. I'll open the trunk for you. So this is what it looks like. And also, you get the release from the from the inside of the trunk. So if you need to release the trunk, if you get stuck in, top, in there, you just push, hold this, pull this right up, right, right back there. So that'll open it for you. So as far as, I don't know if you guys can see it, but as far as your trunk, your trunk space, so like I mentioned earlier, uh, so for your trunk space, you'll get, um, so you get 15.2 uh, 
cubic feet of space for your trunk space uh to put the seats down you get these handles back here so you just simply pull these right here to put the seats down once you get one on this side as well also this comes with a backup uh a spare tire i do apologize this has a back a spare tire in here as well with your tracks and kit so you get all that stuff in here all right and also you get the auto all weather protection uh liner cargo liner in there as well all right so yep that's it so once again this is the all new 2023 toyota crown in the limited uh trim level uh so this one again is uh, uh the ex exterior color on this one is oxygen white uh with the black and brown interior uh, and also this is all wheel drive by the way and also you get the 20 inch 21 inch uh dark metallic uh alloy wheels keyless entry and also you get the blind spot monitoring in it as well and also you get the non-open sunroof double sunroof uh, you get the front sensors, rear sensors in this one as well, which also comes with LED daytime money lights uh, and also LED headlights with the uh, back lights also being LED as well. Uh, you also get the 12.3 inch, 12 .3 inch uh, screen on the inter interior. So both screens are 12.3. 12 uh, so as far as your dimension, once again, so for your height, you're looking at 60.6. Uh, for your length of the vehicle, you're looking at 196.1. For your width of the vehicle, you're looking at 72.4. For your wheelbase of the vehicle, you're looking at 100, uh, 112.2. For your ground clearance, you're looking at 55.8. For your fuel tank, you're looking at 14.5. Uh, for your curb weight of vehicle, curb weight of weight of the vehicle, you're looking at 3,980. And also for your cargo space, you're looking at 15.2 cubic feet of space. Uh, for your horsepower on this one, you're looking at just a four cylinder, the 2.5 four cylinder engine. So that's 184. Uh, and also for your pine feet of you're looking at 163. For your net horsepower, you're looking at 236. Um, and also, uh, like I said earlier, so you do get the, so this is also hybrid, by the way. Um, so that which includes, the, so the net power includes a hybrid system in it as well. So which give you the, uh, the 200 and, uh, so the 286 uh, horse, uh, 236 horsepower. Uh, so as far as, uh, so as far as your fuel economy, looking at 46, uh, 42 in the city, 41 in the highway, I do apologize. So that will be 40, 42 in the, in the city, 41 on the highway. Um, all right. So if you guys like the video, please leave a comment down. And, and also don't forget to like, like, and subscribe to the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Just